Happy Friday, friends. How we doing out there? Good morning, good morning. Oh, goodness, we made it to another Friday. And you guys, it's been hot, right? That was like a teaser. We had all that nice, cool weather. And it's been hot here lately, right? Hot. Well, we don't care. We are going on with Halloween, you guys. It is officially 41 days until Halloween. And we are getting lots of spooky things in. You guys, we've got lots of um, Halloween stuff that has come in that's brand new this week. So if you like spooky, you're going to want to stay tuned because we've got plenty of spooky on tap. Uh, we got some new basics. You know, sooner or later, it's going to cool off here. Sooner or later, it's going to cool off here. And we've got some great pieces that are perfect for now nice and comfy and they'll be great under cardies and jackets and all that when it finally does cool off comfy great soft material anyway so you're going to want to stay tuned for that we've got an action-packed friday favorites today um if y'all don't know this is heather out here at main street mercantile in hondo texas you see you see some new arrivals in there so we're going to go um, browse around and see what we can get into. Y'all know the routine when y'all get in. Y'all, we had technical difficulties last time. Um, got about halfway through and the volume, I think the internet kind of dropped. So um, if you see that, you can't hear me, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, a heart, or something. Let me know um, all the technology's working. If the volume goes, let me know. See if there's something we can do about it. But you guys, the technology is the hard part here. The technology is the hard part. But we are going to kind of get going. We've got a lot of fun things in store today. We got a new round of some Swan Creek candles. If y'all love the Swan Creek candles, we've gotten those in. And we've gotten some of the regular scents. Like, uh, I think Leather's one of our favorite customer favorites here. Um, we've got a pumpkin vanilla that is fantastic, and we did get the fresh cut Christmas tree. And I can tell you, we have some kind of, when they came in, they were right by the back door, and when you would come in the back door, smelled like you were walking in a forest, right? Because it's a walk in a forest this time of year, and then it's Christmas in December. Right, right, fresh cut Christmas tree in December. Y'all, let's go see what we can get into. I want y'all to see these new spooky things. We have got so much fun, new spooky, spooky, spooky things. Lots of spooky things. We love these little Halloween cat charms. How cute are they? Um, just a quick little pick me up um, for something um, pretty sweet there. You can see kind of what it says, but that's just a little something fun. We've got um, all the bats, right? <laughs> We've got all the football bows. <coughs> These actually light up. Let's see if I can get one to light up. Um, so again, just something. Let's see if the tab is pulled. Let me see if I can get that to work, y'all. There it goes. There it goes. Um, so fun. Just some all kinds of fun things, y'all. We have, I hate to admit, this is one of those things. We have... Um, all the little wind-up toys in here, and I hate to admit how much fun we have had with these silly things. There is a hand that walks. This uh, eyeball bounces around, and he actually um, glows in the dark. Yes, so if you're like to give kids something besides, <laughs> something besides candy for Halloween, we have just some fun entertaining entertaining things we have some zombies i think these are like four dollars they glow in the dark and they grow like to three times their size so just kind of wanted to show you some of these fun things that are coming in if you are a halloween fan like we are we love all the fun halloween stuff magnets y'all know we can swap out the magnets on your metal wreaths or just on your fridge so y'all have seen our countdown uh so that's spooky nights until halloween but it also sleeps till christmas or my birthday uh there's also one for thanksgiving that's underneath there too so fun those are always a great teacher gift uh because then they can have that up there and be interactive Kid, kiddos can swap those out 
we have these sparkle totes. You guys, these are a big size tote. They're super cute and they're $22, $21.97. And we have them like, there's a sequin candy corn bag, this black one with the skeletons. And then there's this orange one that says, hey boo. It's got sequins and all the things. Wanted to show you guys that. Lots of fun scarves, glow in the dark cat eyes, lots of sugar skulls, bats, right? It's all bats. Hey boo, right? Uh, there's a sweatshirt. That's a one size sweatshirt. Super cute over black leggings, right? You could even add a little um, hat or something. That could be your Halloween trick or treat contest um, outfit there. So just some, some simple ideas, but like I said, you guys, we've been getting some new scary things in here. And y'all have seen, we've carried him for years. And I'm going to have to be quiet so I don't give, give away the secret. One of the scary things, I've already set him off. Can you hear him? Oh, goodness, it's fun. So we have several things. This LED jack-o'-lantern here is too cute but let me go show you who's making all the racket over here it is our fun book of spells so you just lay this book of spells and it is sound and you see how it moves around do y'all see it moving maybe real still i think i've got it wedged in there And then his eyes close. And then you can put. <laughs> I hate to admit again how much entertainment we have had. We've got these funny little monster um, pumpkins that are in. So this thing just jives around. I don't know how I can show you guys how it moves, but it will just. There, it kind of showed it. So, um, lots of fun stuff on there. I'm going to turn him off while I'm talking, you guys. But super fun. Um, like I said, just fun. We like like all the fun, fun, creepy things, right? Uh, cute little pumpkin mummy. So, we've, we've gotten some new, some new Halloween has come in. And this is just some really fun stuff. This is a little bat pumpkin. And we got some fun new uh, witch signs. It's all just a bunch of hocus pocus, not your basic witch, uh, just fun things. And we did get a fancy new witch hat. So you could do your hey boo sweatshirt and a cute uh, new, very fancy um, witch hat. Um, these are some steam steampunk shoes, just cute. Um, that comes with a stake, so you could actually put it in the ground or you could um, stand it like, like we have it, but just easy to to stand around. There's a witch's shoe. Uh, so this is a window clean. So uh, this comes with a suction. It's got a suction cup. It also has a timer. So if you set that to come on, I'd say at about dark, it'll go for a few hours and then it'll sleep for the rest of the time, then come back on at, at that same time. Um, so like, like I said, that's a fun window clean. Um, that one's been really popular. I think that might be the last one. We've had this guy for years. He's always popular. So he moves a little bit with the wind. Um, so he's a lot of fun. So he will kind of blow and, and actually look like he's showing some movement there. We've got, this is a, so this is one of our displayers. So you can change out your signs for the season um, and just hang your charm on there. So then cute for Thanksgiving and Halloween, the whole thing. Some new little plush ghosts. How cute are they? So this one has a cape. This one has some bat wings, some glittery bat wings. And then this one has a witch hat. Um, these are tin. They come with a tea light in there. Uh, super cute. That'd be cute on a mantle, but it'd also be cute outside with some pumpkins. So just kind of wanted to show you some of the fun things. We love all these guys. How cute is that? Um, so these are some Halloween shish kebabs, but we like to just um, mix and match a vampire bat, all the fun things. But 
How about a doorbell? What do you think happens if we... Isn't that fun, guys? I think that would just be so fun to put by uh, where your trick-or-treaters are going to come in. So lots of goodies there. If you don't have a new charm, we've got plenty of charms. So all the things are coming in. Um, we've got lots of um, candy baskets for the kiddos, and, and a lot of them light up. So this one um, is a jack-o'-lantern, and like I said, he, we've got the lights on him. But we also have... I think we've got one sequin bag left um, and then we've got a unicorn one so see the unicorn would would be good and we had one customer say she was going to use it for Halloween and for Easter um, so how cute is that um, we were talking about the candles uh, we just got this pumpkin vanilla is fantastic and we like these because I feel like you can reuse. That's a nice size. Let me show you like with my hand. You can see that's a nice size bowl. But you could put a little succulent or something. Um, just a cute little pottery dish. You could put potpourri. Um, just something fun. Maybe some acorns or, or something fun for the season in there. And that, that'd be year round. So we have gotten this in the pumpkin vanilla. We've got the spiced orange. We did get fresh cut Christmas tree. And I think we have leather. Um, so that's the new arrivals that have just, just come in. And you guys know we love owls. So owls are a great teacher gift, but you know, we're the Hondo owls. So this one actually is made to be outside. And so you can hide your key. It's made to, to hide a key in there. But then we have some smaller versions. All the fun things, all the fun things. You guys, t-shirts are kind of starting to go. The leopard pumpkin's getting a little thin. We've got some cute socks. Like I said, just uh, need to get something for the ladies in the office. Go on the extra mile. Um, get them a cute pair of socks. Easy to do, right? Easy. We wanted to show you these basics that have come in. So we feel like um, these are the new basics that have just come in. They are a super, super soft fabric. And I tell you, we love, love the prints. Um, we put some of our um, Bordeaux Cardies, y'all have seen those. We've carried those for years. We usually keep a spring edition, a neutral edition. And this is the fall edition, this color, these colors. But I feel like almost any of these colors would go over any of these tops. Um, easy to throw on, nice lightweight. Um, you can really wear it several different ways. Let me show you. Um, several different ways to wear it, but it's it's not a big heavy cardi. It's a nice lightweight one, and it would be perfect over these tees. They have um, the fabric is second to none. Um, all the details um, go the extra mile. This is not just your plain basic t-shirt. Like like I said, that is some really cute vintage fabric, and then it has a slight distress on it, so it's got a little bit of an edgy edgy new detail and and like i said the prints are fantastic um how about this cactus one now we paired it with some silk neckerchiefs or wild rags either way but don't those really pop on there right look the colors on this cactus one are fantastic and um look what that yellow neckerchief does to the green one right so super cute we just feel like that's um, we love that print. That's like one of our favorites near and dear to our heart. And then this one's just perfect fall, but really you could wear that year round, right? I love orange. I love the green. I love the gold. Um, Re got us all styled up with some cute matching earrings. So, so all the cuties here. So we just wanted to tell you guys to stop in. So like I said, basics. So these are perfect for now when it's 90. What is it going to be today, y'all? 96. Um, but then cute over winter and most of the season, right, with a cute Cardi. Then you just switch it out for a jacket or um, something heavier each time. But we are really in love with these basics. We are going to try to get these uploaded. And we're going to try to make a section that has um, those street tees and these all in one on the website so that you can just shop the basics 
all in one whack. <clears throat> and so, you guys, um, we hear some some customers at the door. We've got to go get the mark the mark open. You guys know the routine. And um, I was just going to kind of give you a little hint about what's coming next week. Do y'all know what Charlie Brown? What does Charlie Brown do this time of year? What does Charlie Brown do this time of year? That is your hint for what's going to be on next week's Friday Favorites. And um, there is some great ideas. Y'all have a good Friday. Thanks for going with us. And we'll see you next week.